Hey everybody, what's going on? So I just wanted to make a quick video just about Robert Kennedy Jr. As I heard uh, just a couple days ago that you know, he's actually thinking about uh, suing CNN. And the reason he, was gonna, he wants to do this is because they're not allowing him on the, the debate stage. Right, so his, his issue with this whole, you know, why aren't they letting me on the debate stage is that he does actually technically have the threshold to be included in the debate because he does have enough ballot access, as he just gained another state in Tennessee a couple days ago, that he can potentially get 270 electoral votes. So therefore, he should be able to, to debate both candidates, right? Even the uh, commissioner of the Federal Election Commission said that CNN is in the wrong here and Robert Kennedy Jr. should absolutely be included in the debates. So he's actually got like a, a legal... You know, from a legal standpoint, rather, he's he's got a good point. And he's got all the proof he needs to say, hey, look, I'm, I'm a legitimate candidate. I should be in the debate here. But CNN and, of course, Trump and Biden don't want him there. Now, in terms of suing CNN, he does have a very good track record as a lawyer. Yeah, he's an invent environmental lawyer. However, he also has sued, you know, Montescalo for you know, spraying chemicals on our food and land. Uh, he sued Donald Trump a couple times. He sued um, companies who were, you know, dumping into th the uh, Hudson River, help clean it up and help revitalize it and essentially save it, right? So he's got a great track record in terms of, you know, when he really, you know, goes after someone, he usually wins. And he's looked at as a hero for those things, by the way, as he should be. Now, the problem is, you know, will this plan actually work, right? Like, if he can sue CNN and say, let's say he wins the case, Will there be any punishment? Will they then say, okay, all right, we'll let you in the debate? No, they're just not going to do that because the two uniparty system is going to do everything they can to stop him because they don't want him debating Trump or Biden. Well, Trump doesn't want him there because he knows he's going to get destroyed on COVID. And then Biden doesn't want him there because it's like, well, I'm going to get destroyed on you know inflation and you know the Ukraine war and it, all these kind of things. And when he embarrasses both of them, which surely he would do if he debated them, I promise you, you would likely see a massive upswing in polls for him. And right now, there's a lot of people who like Robert Kennedy, but they're like, yeah, I'm not, but he just doesn't have a chance. I'm not going to vote for him. If he's allowed in the debates and you see a big upswing, there will be a lot of people who go, oh, maybe he can win now. And that could cause another shift in the polls and... Then all of a sudden, Robert Kennedy's got a bunch of momentum heading into the second debate on September 10th. And if he does the same thing again, which surely he would, you could see another massive upswing. Again, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here. I'm, I'm not too faithful that, uh, <laughs> that the, you know, the judicial system will actually help Robert Kennedy here and let him in the debates. But, you know, if, if CNN feels like they're backed into a corner, like, man, this guy's suing us and he's got a legitimate case, we might want to back off and just let him in. I still think they're going to find a way around it. I still don't think they're going to allow him to do it because they know it would be bad for the Uniparty. And that's what this is all about, right? Like, it's not about, you know, Trump's evil or Biden's evil. It's about protecting the Uniparty. Whenever it comes to war and national debt and all these other bullshit things that the but both parties do... They're all friends when it comes to those issues. They just pretend to hate each other because, well, it's good theater, and they do have some points they disagree with uh, with each other, and they attack each other, and it's just the same old bullshit. Where now Americans actually have a legitimate third-party candidate that they can vote for and finally do major damage to this uniparty system that we have in the United States, and maybe, just maybe, we can actually get some change that we need. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments section. Do you think Robert Kennedy has a chance with this case? Do you think that uh, they're going to let him in the debates? Also, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and subscribe, rather. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I'll be back shortly.